bless up to all the massive them who are tuning in right now. You need to be listening or watching TV sound system. The thing sell off. This is Jaco Melody, the voice of the Midlands, advert specialist. So may I tell you, TV sound system, I biggest thing right now. Log on, subscribe, tune in and watch the thing up. Load, 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 load. Yeah! TV sound system, select a hype up inside the building. Once again, we are here. Remember to click like, share and subscribe when it comes to sound system culture, you know, say. Everything's happening right here, especially what's going on inside the UK. Also, I'm going to say shout out, reach out to all of those who will keep logging on, keep messaging, messaging, keep making those comments. It's all about sound system culture. And inside the place right about now, we're going to waste no time and go straight into it. When it comes to sound system culture, we can interview the sound man then, we can interview the artists then, but it's always good to interview the fans then, the real hardcore fans, the die-hearted fans then who take the time out, travel up and down the country, supporting sound system culture, especially when it's a female who really, really represents and does her thing in fine style. She's kind of changed the way and worked with the way how technology is moving. Um, she's always behind the camera. Some of you people in across the world right now, some of the big clashes that have took place when it goes Facebook Live, it's all about no other than the lady sitting in front of me right about now. How are you doing, Lady Empire? Fantastic, fantastic. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for just taking the time out right now. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm honoured. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honoured. Um, we're gonna before we go into start talking about sound system yeah. culture and thing. Um, it was a mad thing because the other day, um, we was on social media and you kind of put up a little thing where I thought, wow, I didn't realise that you came from such different um, parts of the country, grew up in different parts of the world. Oh. So your younger days, where did where where was you residing? But let me give you a little bit of history. We were born, I was born in London. Mm -hmm. My parents came over to um, the UK in the 60s mm -hmm. um, from um, Guyana, South America. Okay. Um, when my mom got divorced, um, she decided she wanted to go back um, home. So she took her family with her. Hence, we went back to Guyana when I was age nine. Andre was seven. Okay. And I moved to New York when I was uh, 16 years old. Okay. And then came back to the, new, to the UK... Um, I think it was 98. Okay. So I spent about a good 17, 18 years in New York. Okay. Growing up in New York in, in, them, in, in them times, what, it was, what was it like? It was, I felt like I didn't sleep for 17 years of my life because <laughs> it was my party days and we partied mm -hmm. properly from Sunday to Sunday. There was always something going on. Okay. And um, back in the late 80s to the 90s, for me, I think it was a... a, a, a uh, a very um, flourishing time for sound system culture. Mm -hmm. Everything was new. We, that, that's when we had the, the younger Ricky Trues, the younger Lion Face. Mm -hmm. We had um, Addies was different then. Yeah. And there was a, a lot of sounds back then that really um, took us out there and we enjoyed sound systems on a different level than we yeah. do today. So so different. where did your love for and passion for sound system, where did it all start from? I think it started from then. We, mm -hmm. we used to look forward to um, the sounds from Jamaica coming to New York yeah. and coming to the clubs. And we used to look forward to... New York is a place where you, you rub shoulders and you, you could just be having a drink at the Q Club mm -hmm. and, um, you know, an artist can come... You know, Supercat can come in. Yeah. Um, I had my girlfriend's was a baby mother to junior cat. Mm -hmm. So um, the artist, for us meeting the artist, it was like um, a regular thing, yeah. an everyday thing. So um, we enjoyed that. Yeah. And obviously back then, the, the artists themselves were under sound systems mm. when they were clashing. Yeah. It's a different sort of clash. Mm -hmm. So um, the passion was, was there. Yeah. And just, um, just um, led the Lady Empire today, the passion that I have today, has not changed. It it, mm -hmm. it 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 might have even grown more mm -hmm. for the culture. So what I'm doing now, some people might not know me back then, but it's not changed. I'm doing the same thing today that I yeah. did. Yeah. You know. And what what was um so so like built more era and all that it's something oh, that you experienced. Yes. Because a lot of people them, you know, those if we're not coming from New York and a lot of fans are from around the world, it was yeah. those were like main 
like the real history. Th- so you, 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 you kind of like you was there. Yes, yes. And th- those were the days when we saw, I literally saw um, the young Maturan fetching the box for Addis mm. and hoping and praying that they would let him do a little stuff. But back then he used to show us the latest dances from Jamaica mm-hmm. with another guy, um, uh, Twitch, do all the dances okay. from Jamaica. So for me, it's a joy to see some of the sound men them grow into the business. Mm. And as the business is changing, to see those that we call in dinosaur back then, now, yeah. those, those were the, it was the, the belly of, you know, the thing, it was really, you know, and we were mm-hmm. all young and we used to party and, and you know, just part like fools. What, what, was your most, <laughs> what, what was your most memorable dance in New York? Um, beat Sound Clash or, or a juggling dance? Well, let's, let, let's say Sound Clash. What was the, the Sound Clash that, that you witnessed and you were oh, like, Oh, gosh. Wow. There were so many. Mm-hmm. There were so many. I, I think the first time we... Um, R- Radigan... Came mm-hmm. to town. I can't remember who he was clashing, but that was seemed that was just a road. I just remember walking for miles, you know, just to get into the venue. Yeah. And you know, in them times, you had to you have your ticket and just just the hassle for the for the one. It was like a big world event. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember um specific dates and times, but the and the first time I saw um Addies and um. For me, it was the big stage shows when we had um, Buju on stage with mm-hmm. Capleton yeah. and we had, you know, the big artists at yeah. the same time when they used to do this stage show that used to be, they used to get, used to get your money's worth back mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But back then, my sound, um, I used to love Bodyguard. Okay, that was the sound back then. Back then, it was mm-hmm. Bodyguard first, then Bass Alice, but when Bodyguard came to, I used to go absolutely berserk. <laughs> Um, I love Bodyguard, and um, you just look forward to it. Mm. So we used to go everywhere. So what, what, what made, what is it about sound system, sound clash that gets you like buzzing every single time? It's the passion. The passion, other than boxing, mm-hmm. it's the only arena that you see men go at it toe mm-hmm. for toe with a, 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 a real, you have to be a real music lover. Mm. And you have to really love, and I'm talking about the man them that build the box, speak Hawaiian, and everything, um, that live and breathe it to mm. watch it, mm-hmm. and to watch it um, take part on a stage yeah. in a competitive sport like that. Um, it's just like someone that really, really loves football. I don't think there's any other um, cultural event for me that really shows what song system culture is all about mm-hmm. and i absolutely love it crazy man absolutely trust me love it. so 17 what 16 17 years in new york in yes, new york crack, which part yeah. of new york was you, was you i was i was um i lived in a place called hempstead which mm-hmm. is like on the border of um like queens and long island okay then i went to live in um copeg which is um near a valley stream that's more up up, up, up in Long Island way. Mm-hmm. But it didn't seem like I lived in Hempstead. It seemed like I, I was in Brooklyn and Queens <laughs> all the time and the Bronx. Okay. And, you know what I mean? I mean, and there's legendary things I remember, like seeing Supercat on stage mm. um, and, and going to places like the Coliseum and seeing big shows. And, and um, you know, it's just... I've got memories that will live forever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's it, man. And that's what we're documenting right now. You know, you know what I mean? That's, that, that's, the, that's the whole um, reason why we're doing this right now uh, via TV sound system. So 17 years, 16, 17 years in New York. Yes. Boom, bam. You hit UK. Yes. How did you see... Um, obviously, when you came to the UK, passion for sound system, um, who was on your radar at the minute like you touched down and... Kind of um, settled down inside the UK. Who was on the radar? When I when I settled down, there were a lot of um, sounds that I was just getting to know. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, all the London sounds that were, you know, there was Saxon, you know, Saxon and, and all them guys down there in London. Mm-hmm. And up this side, they had, um, I think, Jam and Nuclear was, uh, you know, was mm-hmm. firing them times there. Um, ecstasy four by four because remember we, we having all the world clashes and the yeah. winner takes all, all taking and that place. was that was yeah. that, that was. UK was buzzing mm-hmm. at that time. And we used to go to all the... And there seemed to be that there were more clashes then. Mm. 
to me anyway because we always seem to be going somewhere we were on a coach going somewhere yeah. and we, up london going here and there so um yeah you know obviously that the london sounds it was love injection the, mm. the, the birmingham sounds at the time mm. um it was the love injections and and for your weekly events you know you had um a lot of the other sounds would do but at that time roxy's wasn't even like a big name mm -hmm. to me back then yeah. but it's like like the ecstasies and that and and and, and immortal and you yeah. know them things mm -hmm. and um like i said coming from new york and then coming down to the uk mm. well how was the, how were things different how did you see like the clash it's a different, different? energy it's mm -hmm. just totally it's like um it's like oil and water um to this day um new york style and their passion for clashing is a lot more um, I would say ag aggressive to use for lack of a better word mm -hmm. than maybe um, uh, the, how the England, English sounds, the UK sounds tend to go and, and the, the, um, the rivalry was a lot. Um, they used to really go at yeah, it yeah, and yeah, the, they used to really yeah. build a rivalry. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and the fans um, fed off of that energy a bit mm -hmm. more. Um, so that was a bit different for me. Because when I went to a clash, I couldn't understand um, what they were calling a clash. The only time we would get that flavor, I used to look forward to seeing, like when, a might, when they introduced Mighty Crown and Mighty Crown came, yeah. and we saw clashes like that to get that kind of energy that I used to get in New York. Mm -hmm. I did find it different, but not bad different. Yeah. Good different. Just a different energy. It was uh -huh. different. Okay, so you know, there's this Lady Empire up inside the building. We're going to... Fast forward a little bit now to kind of like the present time because you kind of represent the nowadays Clash fan that's out there right now. Um, I'm going to jump straight into the thing, man. Mm. You are probably one of the main people who are responsible for letting the rest of the world see what takes place in the UK. And that's via Facebook and going to Facebook Live. What made you decide to, 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 to just... <laughs> take out your phone and and film what's going on but i have to say before facebook went live i was doing it but i would be in the the dance mm -hmm. filming the sounds and i used to post them but well, i used to be standing right there and post them okay so although it wasn't live it was almost like, like, like yeah, 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 yeah so when facebook live came i'm like wow i don't have to do all that now mm. it, it just straight on and people can see um it goes back to the older days i'm not doing anything now that i didn't do before i, I mm -hmm. had a different i had a different kind of camera i had a camera phone mm -hmm. or i took a loads and loads of pictures yeah i think i have a a passion i think it's, it's or an addiction i say for documenting things that happen in sound system culture and i've always wanted wanted to put a big scrapbook together mm. or i would love to see um a body of of videos i mean i look back at videos that i've done from years and years yeah. And I can see sometimes where a sound has come from there, where they've grown or mm -hmm. where they've fallen down or something like that. And it's about similar to what you do. Mm -hmm. It's just a passion for it. And the minute I see something, I think everyone's got to see this. Yeah. I feel like I'm the mummy of all sounds <laughs> and they are my babies and yeah. they're doing very well. Mm. They're, they're for, and I want the world to see that, mm. look, we are great. We're yeah. good. Do you, do you enjoy the clash? just as much when you're holding that phone because you're like you know what i mean you're kind of like stagnant in the in the dance you're gonna you're, you're there with your phone um how do you how does it take how's the vibes different with or without having the phone because me filming sometimes i feel like sometimes i feel like say so you know what i didn't want to film you know i just want to go in the crowd and vote and 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 you know what i mean so um how, they, how's they, the vibes they laugh you? at me because it's a lady empire sometimes we stringing up i know some of the some and them <laughs> find me very annoying because mm -hmm. the light is up in the face um i get i, I get i get the best of both worlds i've got two audiences mm -hmm. those that are there and they they're responding to what's going on and plus the energy that's around me yeah i must admit um when some sounds or some events are going on Badder than is coming up. I don't want to have a phone in my hand yeah. mm -hmm. because I literally want to have a pan in my hand. I want to be running <laughs> up and down. I don't want to be going on stupid. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it depends um, where where I'm at or or what kind of 
what I want to capture. Mm -hmm. And I like to get everything and I like to get all the highlighted moments. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind. I, I don't feel like I'm losing anything. Yeah. But sometimes, especially um, like if Empire Sound is a, a one for one dance or whatever, I just want to be there and enjoy the dance. Mm -hmm. So I might get take a, 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 a try, you know, my stand with me or something just to have it standing there mm. or not film yeah you know have you been you know? in a dance started filming and thinking man this dance is rubbish man <laughs> but because you because you got your phone it's like boy if i put my phone away they're gonna they're gonna feel like what i got have you ever stood there with your phone thinking jeez man it's, just hurry up yes. start the dance or I mean, you don't have to name the dance no 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 i have left home have and traveled i've done like a two hour <laughs> travel got lost and the, the traveling turned into maybe two and a half hours got to the mm. dance yeah. two three o'clock me one and maybe two people in the dance yeah nothing ain't going on and thought you know when tears could just come to your eyes <laughs> and you think it does happen mm. you know it does happen and um it just it is what it is mm. you know what i mean how um another question that i got um how do you feel about people them who because they do say it and it's, it doesn't matter which part of the country it is somebody could be filming in America, Canada, or you yourself inside the UK. There's a lot of people them saying that boy, this Facebook Live thing is mashing up the dance because, mm. for instance, if a dance is going on, boy, I ain't even gonna go in because Lady Empire will film the thing, and so mm. I can just cut in my yard, you know, bonnet herbs, you know, what I mean, what, a can of beer or whatever I'm drinking, and just sit down and watch it. Um, a lot of people them are. Uh, do fight against it and there's always conversations coming up about it but at the same time them said people there cannot tell me that they're not watching it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, know what I mean but how do you feel like when people say boy them kind of things there is mashing up the thing and not getting people them out um, to the events um, I don't feel no way about it because I feel in everything you do you're always going to have a set of people that are going to be um, disgruntled about what you're doing mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what you do there's always going to have that. So you've got to take that and you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. Well, if you're doing something from your heart and you feel like you're doing good, if mm -hmm. I love sound system culture so much and I have so much respect for the promoters and what they put on an event that I put on, do you think I would literally go out there for some sort of self-gratification and film your dance to mash up your dance? Yeah, yeah, I would true. never, yeah. never do that. Mm. Um, I think it's a cop out for some of the promoters that ain't putting in the work. And they're, and they're not filling up the dances. Jeez. That's one. Mm -hmm. the, the, that's, I, I am Lady Empire valid. is a good reason for them to blame the poor attendance or the poor um, just using social media platforms. When I haven't seen you putting out a flyer for your dance, yeah. I ain't seen it no way in Birmingham about mm. your dance. Yet I found my way to London to go to your dance, and people that actually live in London can't be bothered to come out and they're watching my Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Also, Facebook Live is a very it's a transparent. It's very it makes a lot of the sound men very insecure, insecure that are splicing other people's dubs, mm -hmm. and they they are or they don't feel that the performances they don't want that in your face. Yeah, they, I, I think they just don't want the fact that it's actually taking place here and now, and the world's watching. And they feel and and they feel an added pressure. Um, I've been told to my face, uh -huh. they do feel an added pressure. Like, you're not live, are you? I'm pop, I pop down the. T you're not. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not on you. Or people actually come in the dance doing what they shouldn't, I shouldn't say what they shouldn't be doing. They don't want to be seen, so they don't like the fact that I go live. Mm -hmm. But I've never gone live to any event and, and filmed anybody. I do skim the crowd so people can see a forward mm -hmm. or people see that this is the vibe. But my camera is always on the sounds. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I don't go there to spot anyone up. I don't go there. But um, a lot of negative attention, and, and sometimes I feel hurt because some of the people that I've always supported and highlighted your sound before Facebook Live, yeah. those are the ones that are actually burning me out. Mm. You know, they don't show appreciations. I've got a good relationship with my sound men them, mm -hmm. and the promoters. They know that I love the thing. I'm not coming there. If I get a call to say Lady Empire, you know, and I've gotten a call, mm -hmm. a big event, Lady Empire, we don't want, we want the people them to come out. So don't think, and I've gone to the event and I've not gone live. Mm -hmm. I've waited till a certain time and then to go, go live and yeah, say, well, yeah. look, this is tune for tune. I have to get this. My sounds up there. Mm -hmm. Same thing or, has happened to me. They've said, you know, said don't, and, and don't, and film, going, but then you don't just, film. And when you go, everyone's camera's everybody's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they hold me in, in a way. I'm held responsible <laughs> for people not coming. I said, don't be stupid. You know, it's, it's stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm going on the record. I've never said it before. Anyone that says that I stop people from going out. It's stupid. 
and because I can't put vulnerable adults on camera or film them, I have got a sector of people. I deal with people with mental health mm -hmm. and people that cannot get out. And I've got a bunch of old men in a home mm -hmm. that play the dummies. Two big events they have. They play dominoes and they watch Lady Empire live, mm -hmm. especially the clash that they can't go out to. <laughs> yeah. So I don't care. I, I'm not catering for the people that choose not to go. Yes. I am catering. I, 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 I am catering for the people that can't go. And for those that choose to abuse it, shame on you. I don't care about you. You're not sound clash lovers anyway. Mm. You don't care about our culture because Lady Empire goes. And if any promoter dare challenge me, you're going to have to tell me when and where. For every event that I've ever, you've ever seen me at, I buy a ticket for not only myself, I'm a sister. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some promoters actually give me tickets. Mm -hmm. and, and I have a radio show. Sometimes we keep those tickets and I will still take somebody else with me and buy a ticket. That's the only way I can support mm. the event because I'm not a big drinker at the bar. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we have done enough to show that anything that I do, it's not to really hurt the culture. Yeah. It's more or less to bring light to the culture and it should be applauded. And I hope a lot more people, when I can't do it anymore, and I get too old to stand up for five hours with a camera in my hand, someone yeah. else will do it. Mm -hmm. In terms of um, all the ones that you've filmed, do you watch them back or do you just, because kind of, you've already been, you was already there, you've already filmed it. Is there ones that you've watched back? And because to me, I think, um, technology is moving and Facebook's moving mad forward. Can you, or do you know of a particular event that you filmed that got crazy numbers? When you looked at it, it was like, whoa, that amount of people them kind of watch the thing. Because mm -hmm. you, most dances that you do, I do watch them. And are, are, you, are you easily clapping at like 1.5K? But what's the, what's the biggest number? And can you remember that dance? Uh, I can't remember which, which dance, I can't remember which, but they all do really get good numbers, especially, mm. and even if, let's say if they get make three, four, five K on the night, because everyone goes back and watches it again and again and again, it builds and builds and builds. I've had people approach me and wanting to do it as a business and saying, mm -hmm. you I, I would lose the energy for, I wouldn't want to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because I was going to say, you know, that was going to literally going to be my next question was to the way how you got it locked. I think if Lady Empire did a live stream where it's like a pay-per-view thing mm. and kind of charge the thing, I think because people are so so um, respective of you, I think they would pay the money, man. You know what I mean? And like, not necessarily cut out the Facebook live thing altogether, but get a get a different perspective of it. But I think I think business-wise for you, that would be mad it, crazy. It, it, it defeats the purpose because I do do it as. As, as, a, as a hobby mm. and I have a job that I go to. So if I did it where I was taking that money that I got from that and it was put into sound system or it was for a, a reason for doing it, I would. Mm. But it would take the energy out of what I'm doing. It wouldn't make yeah. it, the reason I'm doing it for, yeah. it, it wouldn't mean that much to me if I did it that way. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So, so we're here with Lady Empire, live and direct inside the building. Um, let's talk about UK sounds, man. And oh, Lady Empire, man. is it true that the name is after Empire Sound? Yes, it is. So are we saying that Empire Sound is your favourite sound yes, in the UK? Yes, I am the I am the Lady Empire is to the to 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 the to the to the horror of the men on the Empire Sound. <laughs> they didn't they didn't know where I come from. They didn't stand and call me. They can't get rid of me. I absolutely love Empire Sound. I think they're one of the most underrated sounds in history mm -hmm. that I have ever met. I've never seen a sound that is so good, but don't get the credit <laughs> for it, if you know yeah. what I mean. And I've loved them from the first day I've met them. Mm -hmm. And I sort of um, attached myself to them. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, we've had a lovely relationship. We've had our ups and we've had our downs, mm -hmm. but I will always... Um, fly the banner for Empire Sound mm. and that is where Lady Empire comes from. Okay. I'm not a part of the sound I don't play the sound mm. or anything like that. I'm just I'd say the number one fan mm. or you know that's Who else, is, who else inside the UK um, do you think deserves a lot more credit than they're actually given? I think um, Platinum Cartel did take a break mm. 
and I think he's back now with sort of a new team. Um, he's got a different sort of a style to me and the way that he, um, the energy that he puts into cutting his dub plates. Mm -hmm. And I know that people do big him up and yes, he's bad, he's bad, but I'd still always felt that he doesn't get the credit mm -hmm. that he deserves. That's one sound. And um, there are so many other sounds, especially the young ones, mm -hmm. um, like Apache Warrior that's coming up. These, these guys yeah. are going to really shift the game. The game. Mm -hmm. So I hope that those that are before them give them a little bit, know that the, the road has been hard for them and really give these guys the strength. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Is there any sounds, and like, like I said, the interviews then, we, we kind of ask and be honest all the time. Is there yeah. any sound in the UK that you think's mad overrated? Overrated? And that's not being, it's not a disrespect question or anything. It's just no, no, like, no, no, yo, no, you know, no, no. They're, they're a little bit up there, but you haven't really seen anything from them. And as, like I said, you're sitting here as a Clash fan, as somebody that knows what they're talking about. So is there anybody that out there that you think are oh, and what's the reasons? No, I can't. I can't think of some that I, I wouldn't use the, the, the um the word overrated. Mm -hmm. I just know that there are sounds out there num right now that are saying we're number one, num we're number one, and hold on to this number. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're not really doing anything in in my in my um let me, let, let's say ecstasy four by four. Mm -hmm. I'm a massive ecstasy four by four fan. Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to the clashing scene, absolutely love them. Yeah. But they haven't held, I haven't been able to hold that passion for them, let's say over the last five years or so. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully, I'm hoping to see that change again. And why I'm picking on Ecstasy 4x4, because of our relationship, I feel I can be honest. Mm -hmm. And I could say, because I've grown with them as well, I've always mm -hmm. followed them from way back when, and I, and I keep that energy for them going. And then when you see like a little bit of a, a shift, which all sounds go through that. Yeah, definitely. You know, but but um, I wouldn't, if, if, if they were in a clash right now where I would know for sure, you know, yes, they got it, they got it. Mm. I'm not able to say that anymore as I used to. Yeah. So for me, it's not about overrated, but the ratings where, you, you know, it's not nice to me to see a sound be up there one minute for me personally. Mm. And then all of a sudden you think you see, well, they're just really a juggling sound now because mm. they're not really, yeah, yeah. they're not doing anything, mm -hmm. you know? Well, 45 Shop Lock is coming around the corner. Yes, I'm and looking I'm forward think, to I'm, it. I, yeah, I'm mad looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a, I was a just big about... one. And I think um, I think those are the events where Ecstasy need to get back into that's... to get themselves back on that because they do call themselves the world sound. That's what I'm saying. And I was they have just... done a lot in their prime. They was kicking up sounds. I was left, just right about to, to say, I was going to end my comment in saying... For me, not to put pressure on them, 45 shop block means a lot mm -hmm. for me to go this time that I'm going because now I need that back from them. Yeah. I need it, Treat you know. Yeah, man. We all need it because, you know, when you say number one, I want to feel it now and I don't feel it anymore mm -hmm. as I used to. Okay, so we're here. Remember to subscribe. Click, click that like button. Comment below. Remember, if you want me to interview any sound system selectors, just, just comment below. Um, we just heard the news. This one comes out now. Um, the ending of World Clash. Ah. Uh, what's your thoughts? Um, it it had its run. Everything has a shelf life. Mm -hmm. Um, that th that brand is always gonna be credited for a lot of for for for, for what they 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 what they've done for sound system culture. Mm -hmm. We can't take that away from them. But the last couple of years for me was the end. So to see them um, go now on a relative high, you know, you didn't want it to get worse than it is yeah, at the yeah, minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good time for the a good move for Chin, smart, especially bringing it to the UK. Mm -hmm. He's a businessman. You can't go around it. Um, good choice. And it's going to be a hell of an event. Yeah. Cause, cause, I mean, you was fully supporting the thing because we were just talking earlier off camera that you was literally planning to go to Canada. Yes, I would have Booking gone. your ticket and yeah. going over there to go and support yeah. Observer. So when you heard the news that it's inside the UK, just saved yourself a serious amount yes. of money. 
Yes. He buys he buy, buy I extra fly, I can fly, phone charger. Phone chargers and... I can go to Switzerland <laughs> instead. Okay, <'cause laughs> it, obviously, because it's all about the Badadan clash, which is going to yeah. be taking place also. Um, what, do you, what, what do you think is so appealing about the UK uh, Badadan, uh, the whole series of what's going on? What, what kind of appeals to you about the whole concept? I mean, look at the lineup. Look at look at what they, um, the, the sounds that they put up there and the energy, and the the energy that they put in. You gotta remember, if you've got a product, a product, mm -hmm. and you're selling it to me, just like Sound System Clothing, mm -hmm. and you entice me into investing in what you're doing, I'm going to invest in. I was shocked because I did an interview the other day, and I thought Badadam was about eight years old. I was shocked to know that it was it's twelve years, mm -hmm. it's longer than yeah, that. Yeah, it's been a while, man. Um, and um very attracted to the brand because I follow the brand and I've seen what they have done for sounds mm. and I've seen the, the credibility um, in some cases more than I would see a world clash that world stage they've got their own thing going on and it really does um, bring out a wider spectrum of, of sounds coming together you know Europe yeah we got Guyana doing it we got everywhere yeah. Japan and, as well, and yeah. Japan and I think um I, I I can't sing the praises enough, you know, Marcus guys and and the whole team. Mm. You know, it's um I always look forward to Badadan. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. It's coming up very very soon. I'm co-hosting it with J Eyes. Man, it's gonna be, gonna be it's anime. gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be epic. Yeah, man, it's gonna be crazy, man. Um, we're not gonna keep it too long. We just wanted to go like let the people them know so that you know what I mean the lady behind the camera. Oh. Is it inside the place in front of the camera? Why is it that s there's lack of females? As a female, I'm um, going to these clashes them over the years. Why do you think that there is a kind of like a situation where there is not many females coming out to the clashes? I've seen it changing recently. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I think is um, it's a sport, mm -hmm. and um, it can seem aggressive at times, and I'm not gonna say that men wanted to, to, to keep us out, but it was kind of weird when I came to the UK and got started going to clash and I was one of the, the, the only female in there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, because it, that was a normal thing for me. But um, it's changing. Hmm. There's a lot more females, big up to all the females, all the war angels that go out and support because the, the dances, the, the, the clashes are full of, full of females hmm. now. So um, it's a good look. Yeah, man. You know? What would you like to see change in sound clash culture, especially inside the UK? What isn't, what's not happening that you would like to happen and should happen and hopefully will happen in the future? More rivalry, more sounds clashing, mm. and more rivalry. And I'm talking good, hardcore rivalry at where we want to go out to really see, you know, them go at it. We need more rivalry. We need more clashes. We need to see, we need to pave a way for the younger sounds that are coming up. Mm -hmm. And I'm begging that the older sounds that are in the business, when I say older sounds, I'm saying sounds that maybe 10, 15 years, more than 15 years, that give the sounds like Apache Warrior, mm -hmm. the Richie Black Rhinos. No, he's not a new, new sound, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. The newer generation, give them a chance so we can see this thing grow. I would love to see, I would love my legacy to be that I am able to look back when I'm 60, 70 years old mm. and to see that those sounds I've given, there's like 20 new sounds yeah. up there and it, it's going strong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, away from your, your um, whole um, position in the sound system thing, radio show, kicking off crazy. Yes, love me show. Um, just let the people know the time of the day, every Blouse, time. Blouse and Skirt Link Up show every Friday night on new style radio that's 98.7 fm how long have you been there they've been there for a minute now haven't um i think we're going into our fifth year or sixth year now okay so it's okay yeah. and you you definitely are one that pushes the new artists them um, hard yes, man yes yes um yes, yes. who's new out there the talent for people them who you think should know about because you know when you say to somebody new artist they say oh coffee <laughs> well, no, no, you no, got no, you play no, a no, serious no, amount no, of artists no, and no. interview artists as well no. that are, 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 are seriously overlooked. So just just name a few of those we artists. Got, I, who I, 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 interview, I interviewed a guy um, last week that goes by the name Ross Iota, mm -hmm. really big. Um, we got Stevie Face, we got Ituki, and we got some of the UK artists as well mm. that are up and coming and doing their thing. Um, Scuba Bling. 
and stuff like that. Um, again, and also to, to, to connect that to sound system culture, mm. let's get some creative, a little bit more creativity with the, yes, coffee is vice and everyone's got coffee, mm. but vice rasa yota, get, true, bring a new, true bring true a new true. energy to the thing, bring, give us a little bit of, um, be more creative with your dub mm -hmm. Can you tell a splay song play? In a dance. If I can tell what, sorry. If you can tell when a splice song is. I don't played. have the ear. For, it has to be a really bad splice uh -huh. for me to tell. But if you, if you, if you, if you can get, you can get past me. Andrea can't. Uh -huh. Andrea's got an ear for it. Yeah. I don't have the ear for it. <laughs> so therefore, anything. <laughs> if you, if you, if you, if you, if you go down. When you there, think about the whole situation, you, <clears throat> is, it, is it something that? Um, What's, your, what's your, th your whole case of it? Because it's a real big issue right now. I did a show on my show with Splice Dobbs because mm. I've got a few myself. Mm -hmm. And I encouraged some of the sounds to send in their Splice Dobbs. Mm -hmm. It was one of the biggest shows that I've had when I did on wow. radio. I think um, that when you look at the market, when you look at how much an artist is charging a sound mm. for a dub. I think it's absolutely disgusting. What I think about the splice dub is I think it's people are using. I'm not talking when I say splice dub, I'm not talking about taking a man name out of. When I say splice, I'm saying taking barring dubs and taking one sound name out of and mm -hmm. sound sharing dubs. That's splicing. When you're using the fake artists, mm -hmm. then I'm so against it, but I don't have. What's the point in, in, in bawling about a situation where you don't have a solution? Mm. Because, um, isn't, isn't, yeah, they shouldn't do it. Um, you shouldn't, you know, but if you're getting done, um, you're getting done. But it goes back to if you're more creative with your dub plates and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're taking time out to voice the artists that are affordable, mm. it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it's too much, it's too much credibility put on. Everyone has to have. A, a cartel, yeah. If are you, are you, you're not saying you have to have the six. Mm. You have to, this, and the prices that they charge is ridiculous. Yeah, true, man. So always good to talk to you. Ah, uh, yeah. So we put the face to the camera. Yes. Um. What was the next question I was going to ask you was the future in doing what you're doing now. Where do you think it's going to go? from Facebook Live? What, what do you think the next step would be? You know, I, I don't know until it happens. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's, it's, it's sort of like, um, I'm going to do what I do for the love for the culture and wherever that takes me, that takes me. Mm -hmm. um, I can't see myself, um, let's say, having a company that does Facebook live videos. So, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't, I, I think that's, a, I think, I think those that do the professional streaming mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and, the, and the TV sound systems and all of that, that's their job to do that. My job is just to keep that connection and that love with the people mm -hmm. in whatever way that I choose to do it. And I'm hoping that other people do it too, because I am getting older and I don't go to as much events as I used to mm -hmm. and, and as much as I like. So, I would love people to just see it for what it is, really. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, there it is, man. Live and direct inside the building. She's not afraid to her interview. She's not scared to sit down and talk the things. Lady Empire, thank you so much for just taking the time um, out. Anybody you want to big up before you go? I just want to big up um, all sound systems around the world um, for for putting in um, the good work. And I want to say um, for those of you that will be attending the World Clash um, March two thousand and sixteen, make sure we give observer the, the support and we go out and we really rally behind our sounds and for any sound system supporter out there if you love your sound support your sound mm. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note we say thank you and maximum uh, respect every time blessed love